if I have this watch, but I don't know how to see the time, is it of any use to me? No use, right? That's exactly what's happening with all the students who are preparing for CSIMED. Many of you are trying to reinterpret or interpret a book and understand it in terms of CSIMED exam. But where we all are making mistakes is we have to learn to split this task of learning. Now, let me give you an example. If I have to go for a war, I have a sword, but I don't know how to use the sword. Can I kill someone and win the war? No, I cannot, right? Remember, you when you are going to write this exam, you are a one-man army. So you need four things. The first is mindset. You need to be in the right mindset to write this exam. You need to be in the right mindset throughout the preparation time to prepare for this exam. And you need to be in the right mindset to learn from experts. The second is concept development. Now, the first is mindset. Okay, how do, you, how do you develop? You can develop it through motivation, through habits, through time management, and through productivity tips. And all these four you will get in Biotechnica. Now let's move on to the second one, which is concept development. That's the second pillar. Of course, everybody in this world today is trying to tell you about concepts. You know, me, what Mendel uh, discovered, you're learning. What's an incorrect model, you're learning. Everything in between, from Krebs cycle to TCA, everything is being taught. But the question to be asked is, whatever we studied, will it be enough? Whatever is in the standard books is in so much in-depth that we don't know whether we should you know, stop at some point and you know, continue with other topic. So all that Biotechnica has solved with daily classes, doubt solving sessions, doubt solving chat support, recorded lectures, animations, PowerPoints, and notes. All that covered in our Shorya batch. So that's how we are helping you in concept development. That's the second pillar of your CSI preparation. Now let's come to the third pillar. The third pillar is questions practice. Now, what happens is if I have the sword I don't know how to use, then I cannot do anything, right? So same way, you have to solve as many questions as possible. Now, let me ask you a question. A PhD takes five years max, right? But we have been training students for the past 17 years. That's equivalent to more than five PhDs, right? So what is really happened is we have done a lot of research on how to train students. We have done a lot of research on how to exactly help them propel towards success. And all that question practice, all those question banks are right here in front of us. We have Mnet test series, we have Toughnet question bank and last 20 years previous question papers all solved right in front of you to solve. So what happens is you don't just learn solving questions, you also learn exam you know, timing tips and you also get all the exam question decision making tricks and tips. So all that combined together is the question practice that is the third pillar. Now let's jump into the fourth pillar which no one is talking about and that pillar is based on one simple thing, memory. Now you're going to write the exam, not me, right? Now that means you should have excellent memory. You should be able to recall when the right question comes. You should be able to apply the concept whatever you learned, the second pillar, in the exam, right? And that is where memory recall comes into picture. I personally teach students 42 different types of memory recall techniques, active memory recall techniques, right? 14 of them I have already given free of cost. I've made a video, you can check that out on YouTube. Those are valuable. Now, the next we have is revision tools like Conceptical Lite, Concept Notes, Concept Wheel, Concept Table, Concept Cloud, all this will help you revise faster so that you can recall better. So all this combined together, your building of CSIR net preparation stands on these four firm pillars. The first is, of course, mindset development. The second is concept development. The third is question practice. And the fourth is active recall or recall, memory recall. So these are the four pillars on which your preparation will stand. And if you want to strengthen the pillars of your preparation, then you know where to go. And in the meanwhile, our experts are also coming live to you with all the classes, daily classes, daily notes, handouts, all the PowerPoints, animation, all this combined together, a power-packed method to prepare for CSI. So see you soon in one of our batches of Shore Batch. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.